This week we shall be reviewing Cujo. I put aside watching Cujo for like so long because like I'm an animal lover and I watched Old Yeller when I was a kid and like I was not gonna have an Old Yeller moment again. <laughs> as God is my witness, I am not gonna see a rabbit dog die again. Uh, what was my experience? Well. My experience with this film was quite unique. Oh, of drama, family drama. For that, it's just like horror, 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 horror. You're just trapped in this little space. The director and the crew did such a good job of really making a great small encompassed, encompass is that the right word for this situation? And trapped, <laughs> kind of like uh, this really tiny little space. They made it hot, they made it fucking uh, tiny and desperate in the situation to get out of and like if i was in this situation i would fucking cry it's either gonna be you or the dog and like i don't think i have it in me to like kill an animal i mean i probably would but like it'd probably kill a bug in me i thought this was a really good animal horror movie i thought the child's fear um a bing of under the bed in the closet. I thought that was a really good touch because it kind of gave it that like child fear element. And I enjoyed that. <clears throat> because all of a sudden it's like, hey, I can identify with this kid. I did the same exact fucking thing. No, I think what makes this film so good and so effective is its lack of CGI and enormous use of like, practical effects. I really have to um, say thank you to the director for, um, because there are shots when uh, D. Wallace is um, in a fight with Kujo. He didn't see Kujo get hurt, so that was cool. <laughs> I appreciate it. I just have this huge empathy for animals, so it's like... I'm just... yeah, that's why I don't watch a lot of animals. Because, uh, or any uh, horror that has any animals dying, because I just... I just... I can't do it. The cons of this movie for me has to be long ass running time of like the 15 minutes of family drama because the movie ends so abruptly like it just it just ends and it's like what the fuck was that like what the hell you took me through like 50 minutes of like this family shit you know she's cheating he's going through this commercial fucking business thing going down and like nothing nothing comes out of it because like they come walking out of the house everybody's fine and it's bullshit. Like, what the hell? Like, do they make it in their marriage? Do they stay together? Do... Yeah. The 50 minutes of this movie is so irrelevant to everything else because the movie just fucking ends and it's like... Really? So... That whole 50 minutes was just... Ah. And I really wish that they would have stuck with the book's ending of uh, Tad dying. Because, I mean, I think that would have given a little bit more uh, emotional trauma. Cujo was suggested to me by uh, Scott Matthews. 
Again, Scott, thank you again for this awesome recommendation. I would not have watched this movie without your recommendation because, honestly, <laughs> oh, it's just so good. Oh, I was traumatized along with them. Like, it was so good. It was so good.